Hi, welcome to the tutorial about um, i3, but uh, the i3 is going to be installed on XFCE. And while I was uh, working on it, I did a total rewrite of uh, all the scripts. So we'll go into the details of that. But first off, let's start uh, our virtual machine here and let's install XFCE inside of XFCE. We start like so, tell the system x64, it's okay, half of it will go to the guest and the host will get the rest. Here we'll give 20 gigabytes more or less, create, settings, we go to the processor, 1, 2, 3, 4, 50, 50 and here almost 50, 50. Let's put our ISO inside. Okay, and we're off to install the next mint. If you know already how to install Linux Mint, then you will not be surprised. So you could skip on to the rest of the tutorial. I'm not gonna select anything more than uh, has been uh, that's, that's su suggested, so I keep everything as it is. You'll see soon enough. English. It's my advice to keep it in English. Any error will be reported on the internet, probably in English. You'll have more search results than in Spanish or Italian or Thai or anything else. There you go. That was uh, quite an extensive and a very technical installation. And let's wait now for it to install. In the meantime, everything has been copied to the SSD or the virtual box SD and it's going to be installed now so let's wait again in the meantime the installation is finished we just press restart now and we wait the virtual box to reboot I did not uh, eject the ISO there is no need to he will boot from the hard disk now So this is a clean installation of Linux Mint 80.1, Serena, XFCE, don't want to see this anymore. Let's go to full screen mode, like so, and then let's go and install our i3. So I've done a new approach, it's um, a new scripting as well, if you want to install more software on your Linux Mint XFCE then there is a tutorial on eric2.pe about that but this one is about github and one but then i3 how do I proceed installing i3 on my Linux Mint any Linux Mint so it's not particularly cinnamon or XFCE or mate so it's any of those and then you download it or in my case I rather clone it if there are mistakes then I can push the, the, the corrections again to the net so that's why it's interesting to git clone it in my case for you download zip and extract would be just enough okay so let's put it where it's supposed to be I'm making a nice little folder called data and inside we're gonna put something but first we have to sudo apt install git it's a program from Linux Tor from, from Torvald no, Linux Torvald this is the name damn I don't know his name that's bad anyway so it's git and then you install git clone paste 
and you get this new folder that's the same one if you extract it download zip and extract so that's this one now if you install it previously then you might wonder what's all this so this is the i3 configuration file nothing new here and this is going to be the core uh, folder of our, our i3 system but this has changed so the installation scripts I, I stopped with these folders step one step two step three so everything is on one level and I numbered them from small to big and there is also one that's very interesting it's the automatic installation version one meaning the only thing that's in here you can open it the only thing that's in here is going over all the scripts like so so 50 we don't need it anymore well is to say this is an old i3 version i would suggest you take the newer i3 version with caps so we're not going to install this one that's why it's in here with a hashtag so it's going to install the dependencies 100 110 120 200 300 400 410 420 430 430 has been forgotten as you see here I have to add it 600 900 and our automatic installation so if if we want to include the 430 uh, we have to do something manually here let's quickly arrange it and then we can save it and push it back on the net so 430 install applications save so this one will be run as well and everything that's needed that is uh, necessary to copy or to run is inside these little folders here so you can check that out so when we uh, when install this one is actually going to install these three uh, programs and why do we need these programs um, well this i3 is working with workspaces 10 workspaces of them and each workspace has a program but if you don't install the programs you won't see anything when you boot up so that's why I installed the very minimum of the programs and these are the minimum of the applications the minimum for the fonts and the conkeys the minimum to have icons my personal settings that are coming over to have a nice uh, interesting desktop when you boot up again and the themes for uh, a beautiful theme so it's really if you skipped if you skipped the installation that's actually you it's intended that you do this one but if you skip this installation or any of the others ultimate linux mint 18.1 xfce or mate and you skip this installation then you don't have the software you don't have the icons you don't have the themes so that's why i've now done a rewrite of the code and a rewrite of the, the scripts here this should be really the minimum you install in order to have a beautiful i3 working and the thing is well the fun is and that's why um, i want to keep it uh, very simple here it's just one file automatic installation version one let's give it a try you do open in terminal right like so and now we go ahead and we say automatic and then we just enter give our passwords at the end you have to say yes and for installation of fonts and yes to copy uh, every configuration file you see here on the left should come in an in folder dot slash config slash i3 this gives me a bit of time to tell what's happening so we're skipping this one just there for um, people who want to have the old version so we're working with a for a version 4.13 you'll see that in a bit this uh, this script is uh, installing all the dependencies for this one and for that one so this is actually our version uh, 4.13 which is not yet arrived now we are here xcb so we're running this one we need this one because i3 relies on that uh, program so that's why we are installing dependencies for this one and this one so these three are actually the core for i3 and if anything goes wrong here well then you have to 
check out the errors and see what, uh, what the reason is. But normally everything will just uh, work fine. And we are now building in this phase. We are here now, 120. Okay. Then later on he'll make this one. This one is an extra menu. Normally we'll get our Super D or Windows D. We get our D menu, which is great. Sometimes it's too much uh, information and the Shift Windows D is going to be this menu. It's less uh, choices, but it will go to the user share applications and show you only the desktop files. So that's interesting to get a little bit of a selection. Only the, the standard applications that are here in the menu will be shown then in this file. So Windows Shift T. Then we'll install extra software, extra software for changing the themes, changing cursors, uh, lots of elements. Let's take a quick look. So I3 lock, the D menu, here's the D menu, the conkey, the lock locks, changing wallpapers, changing appearance, this the same. So themes and fonts and all that. The scroll is taking a picture, Compton is um, transparency, shadow, dimming fading all that this is when you change your song or so or you have a, not, no connection on the internet you get this message and this is to know which release we're on okay, are we on the arch or on ubuntu this is for sound this is to have a gnome terminal which is transparent and nemo which is our file manager i know tunar is the file manager of xfc but i I work with uh, Nemo, I like to work with Nemo, you'll see in a bit why. And on the Breeze Curse theme, some information player control for the music as well. So when we press our keyboards, uh, skip on or the sound of and on, so we see as well, the we, we can change the sound. In the meantime, I thought it was time to look. He's asking so, uh, something, you want to install the font, it says you need it, you need it for the conky in the status bar, so underneath here we'll have a status bar, so we say yeah, okay, install it. And there's another conky, and we do have to check here, there is something wrong, I don't know why, everything went great last time, but not this time, so we'll have to check why that is. times not found very strange okay the fonts have to be checked again now the sardi extra icons will be downloaded okay so these are icons to make our system a bit beautiful those were the extra icons and now this is the score sardi icon and then we have the surfing icons And we're going to install all the rest. Meaning is going to install now the Arc Theme Colora collection, so the themes. A download for Sublime Text. Download for Spotify. Sublime Text will pop up in a workspace 2. Spotify will pop up in workspace 10. So that's why these programs have been installed. Firefox is installed. Workspace 1. In GIMP is coming in uh, 4, Inkscape is coming in 3, so that's why all these programs are now in this extra uh, script here that says install software here, install applications, so that's the one taking care of that. Inkscape, Evolution, these are my choices, VLC, they are being installed, and you can delete them change shortcuts, use other programs and applications, no problem. That's done. Maybe you saw here to the left, my bookmarks were copied, so these things here are back here. And last but not least, check if there's an iconfig i3 folder, else make one, so here there is an i3 in the meantime but it's empty so when you say yes it will be copied there and this will be your config file so this 
will boot your system I think that's um, a time to end this tutorial for now and then check what we can do when we log on